Hi there, psycho enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a psycho MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about a couple ways of denying access to psycho content items. Psycho provides a tool called Security Editor, which we use to control access to areas of psycho content. Usually, we use that to control content of master um, database, for instance. Um, so, or we can use that to control access to, let's say, Psycho tools, and we would do that through the core database. So, in this video, we'll simply take a look at the default configuration and uh, use our master database to control access to our Psycho website content. So, what you're looking at here is a clean setup of launch Psycho. And we'll be applying access uh, to our anonymous user to, uh, for our home item, so to our entire website. So what are the two ways? So the first way is the explicit denial. This is when we go through each right individually and deny it explicitly by clicking the red X button. The second way is to click denial on the inheritance right. What that effectively does is it stops the propagation of all the rights from the parent items in Sitecore uh, security is inherited by default. Uh, all the, sec the security of a parent item propagates down to its children unless customized otherwise. So by removing inheritance, what we're effectively doing is denying propagation of all rights to this item from its ancestors, therefore removing all rights to that item. And also explicitly then allow certain rights uh, to provide a combination, um, you know, to allow certain rights only. So what is the recommended approach? Now, most, in most cases in Psycho, you'll find that using inheritance is preferred. First, it's much easier to click one deny button than going through each individual column and clicking explicitly denying each one. And this is if you're looking at the default configuration. In fact, in Security Editor, if you right-click on this gray bar and click on Select Columns, or if you click on Columns here, you would get a prompt which will show you all of the columns that you can um, add to the Security Editor. So imagine going through each one and clicking Deny. It's much easier, of course, to just simply deny through the inheritance. So that's reason number one. Reason number two. It's much easier to trace using Access Viewer in Psycho. Access Viewer is used for, um, let's take a look at it here, for tracing, or for first of all, viewing um, uh, the type of access that a given user has to a given area of content, but also tracing um, this access. For instance, if you're wondering why, given, if you're trying to figure out why a given user doesn't have access to a given area of content, then you would come to the security editor, you would choose that user, pick the area of content, click on the right, and over here, as you can see, over on the right, access to this item is denied by access rule, let's see, individual inheritance. So what this tells us is the uh, inheritance is at fault here. So there is no inheritance, um, the inheritance is denied for this item. So it's, as you can see, it's much easier to uh, to trace uh, when um, the inheritance denial is used over the explicit denial. Now, perhaps the biggest reasons, uh, reason, reason number three for using inheritance over explicit denial is that you can match, you can override, you can actually specify, you can allow rights uh, to override the inheritance denial. Explicit denial override always overrides the allowance. So if we were to go through and explicitly deny these rights, even if we have other roles that inherit from the role that has deny access to this content area and explicitly allow, the, uh, the denial will still overwrite that. So effectively, it doesn't matter how many times we allow access to that role, uh, to, that, um, uh, to that content area, the explicit denial will always overwrite the allowance. However, with inheritance, things work a little differently. So by denying inheritance, we're not explicitly taking away access to that area. We're not explicitly denying access. Okay. So what we're essentially doing, we're just saying this user doesn't have any access, um, doesn't really have any configuration for this area of content. 
So if you have another role that gives access to this area, uh, for instance, gives an uh, allow read and write to this content area, that allow will uh, stay effective. So to give you an example, for instance, if you have a, a, a user role for anonymous users, not the ex external anonymous, let's say if you have a, a separate ano anonymous website specific group that does not have access, let's say, to an account portal, right? Uh, so we have a uh, inheritance set to deny for that group for the account portal. Then you have a group of users, the logged in group of users that should have access to the account area. On that role, you would inherit the base role that uh, has the inheritance denied. However, you can also come in and uh, give it read, uh, potentially write access to that area of the website, uh, giving them the ability to view their account pages once they're logged in. So this is the benefit of, of using the inheritance. So in most cases, in most uh, cases in Sitecore world, you find that inheritance is more useful. However, the explicit denial also has its time and place. So for instance, if you are dealing with a complex combination of roles and you need to force an override on all of the roles, uh, role allow uh, rights to a given area of content, you would create a new one, inherit all those roles, and do an explicit denial uh, of a given right to that given area of content uh, to override all the allowance rights that are coming down first from the content and then from the other roles. Sitecore. So there you go. Two ways of denying access. There is uh, no single one best uh, recommended way for all the use cases. However, you will find that using inheritance denial is more commonly used and recommended for most um, scenarios in Sitecore. However, the explicit denial has its time and place as well. So keep that in mind. And I hope you like this tip. And if you did, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.